Good morning. In this presentation, we are going to see how we can trade in MCX Gold for this week. Before looking into that, let us see what happened last week. So the chart which you are viewing is MCX Gold 1 hour chart, which means every single candlestick represents 60 minutes. And you can see the date below. So on Monday, the market opened around 29,160s. So this is the zone where the market opened on Monday. And on Monday, if we go and see our presentation, uh, which we have posted on 7th uh, of last week, that is on Monday, what we expected is that till 29,120 to 29,160, we expected the market to stay in buying. The reason behind is that 129,120 uh, provided a very, very good platform that is a support for gold market the previous week. You can very well see that uh, how many times the market has hit uh, this uh, 29,120. Since the price opened around 29,160, we expected the market to continue its buying, having 29,120 and 29,060 as a major support zones. If the price close, uh, if there is any pricing uh, below this 29,160, we expected the market to go for a downtrend. That is what is our expectation. So on Monday, what is our plan is that the plan was till 29,060 go for buying and below 29,160 there is uh, no use in going for buying. So let us see what happened after Monday. So again, we are saying every single candlestick represents one hour. So after the price opening, you can very well notice the market straight away came down and broke this 29,120. The reason for some weakness in uh, 29,960, again uh, we have mentioned something on uh, the presentation, uh, previous week presentation. The reason behind the weakness is that on Friday, exactly on Friday, the market came down and market stayed somewhere below the zone of 29,920, which acted as a support zone on Friday. So that is the reason there was some weakness uh, which we have pointed out. And uh, because uh, and after the price opening, the market came down and uh, exactly comfortably broke this 29,120, which gave us a first indication the price is not going for a buying. And again, you can see very comfortably the market broke this 29,060, again, which provided a support uh, for gold market for the previous week. So that then there is no use for uh, buying. So you can see the level of momentum after the breakdown. So this is what we call as a breakdown. A yeah, breakdown is that it is completely going to reverse its trend. So again, coming below the long term average also on Monday, you can notice that the price completely stayed down and closed around 28,940. So this is the price where the market closed. So this is the reason why we always insist you to be very strong while trading in gold on support and resistance, because given the market volatility, you can always uh, be if you are strong on support and resistance uh, two things can ha can happen you can easily predict gold market and also there are opportunities where you can also gain a lot but if you are not strong on support and resistance uh, and if you don't place again now uh, another major important thing is that maintaining a stop loss in gold so stop loss without stop loss please don't go for a trade in gold because uh, the market can be very volatile like this uh, the next day the price open lower and uh, we have always marked the support and resistance line 28920 is the resistance the next week all these supports now converted into resistance you can see all these support lines which we have drawn 28960 and 29020 is going to act as a resist uh, uh, is going to act as a support now uh, resistance now let me j just uh, put this line back uh, okay now it's correct okay let us on the tuesday also you can see the price open lower and the market stayed perfectly lower. So this is the level of selling which you can always expect in gold market. So other markets, it will provide you some time. If you go for copper, it will provide you some, just it can provide you some time. But gold will not provide you time. If you are not strong on support and resistance, and if you don't play stop loss, then you will be under serious trouble in gold market. So on Wednesday also you can see, every day you can see that the market opened lower. So though, uh, because that was the pressure always created there in trading in gold. Uh, so on Wednesday, you can notice that Wednesday, the market gave us a little bit of bounce back. So you can see on Wednesday, after testing 28,460, why we are always insisting on marking this 28,460, you should remember that on a while on uh, 28,460, the market gave a bounce back. Till what zone the market gave a bounce back is that 
till 28,720. This is the resistance zone. So this is provided an opportunity for sellers. And again, you can see on Thursday, the market came down. Again, the market opened lower, and Friday also the market opened lower. So on seeing the ex uh, the last week price movements, you can one thing is in common, which is that what is that is that every day market open lower. So on the Thursday also the market open, Friday also open lower. When even when the pullback market on the Thursday the market open lower. So well, this is what will happen when the market is under terrible selling in gold market. So it will consolidate. Whenever the market is consolidating, it is providing us an opportunity to pick the trend. So consolidation market is good, uh, but we need to pick the consolidation zone very carefully. And that is the importance why we say on every Monday you should have two plans. Yeah, plan A and plan B and also a plan C. Plan A represents the making the support and resistance uh, if they like what happened in gold market. Plan A was on Monday we had a plan A, 28,000, uh, you can see on plan A was uh, till 29,060 we can go for buying. So after 29,60 it is a plan B. We should have put our plan B into function. And again it is a good, good profit. Even if you lose a considerable small amount it is not a matter because market will provide us an ample opportunity for us to make huge profits. Uh, only if we are going to stay in the trend. And also we want to say a few facts about the support and resistance. Uh, people, uh, people say how to learn support and resistance. Uh, and uh, people trade many traders are uh, putting us queries uh, how to learn uh, support and resistance uh, uh, support if you go through if you google it on any website uh, or any articles or if you buy any broker there is few many articles they have written about support and resistance uh, but one thing you should know is that uh, learning and support and resistance is different from realizing support and resistance what you should what you should do is that after learning support and resistance you go and implement that and realize what is support and resistance only a realization can convert this uh, support and resistance what you have learned into some value so that you can get some returns out of it uh, but if you cannot realize support and resistance there is no use in learning that uh, so please go ahead and uh, learn uh, and realize the support and resistance if you have any doubt about support and resistance you can very well contact us uh, and we will be guiding you to implement all this method uh, money and mind uh, so we will integrate all these money management techniques uh, so if you have a trading account that is uh, sufficient we don't charge for any training uh, so only just the brokerage uh, and uh, if you see the continuously what happened in uh, a gold market last week uh, there is no doubt that the market was in selling so today this week uh, we expect gold to open more or less around the same zone so the opening is not going to be a, there is not going to be a much change uh, so if there is not going to be a much change it is going to be a continuation of what happened last week but after a huge selling like what happened uh, on the previous week uh, if you go back and see what happened on this previous week you can very well notice that uh, after a very big buying so you can notice that why this consolidation happened here after a very huge buying so if you go and watch the previous weeks uh, there was a very huge buying in gold market after a very huge buying what we did is that the market went for a consolidation so after a very huge selling what you can expect is that you can again expect a consolidation that is uh, that is the reason why we are insisting that you can always expect a consolidation a minor pullback in the market and everything can happen so what you can do is that you can go for a selling and stay with the trend uh, until the zone uh, 28,820 unless until the price if there is any closing we say any closing above 28,820 uh, we cannot confirm that uh, the market can go for buying so but again we can see this is going to be a very big stop loss 28,820 is somewhere and 28,320 uh, 28, it's a 500 point uh, but there is no other option you should wait for major support uh, resistance zone and go for a sell and uh, you should uh, go for an averaging till this zone and we again we are saying try to book profit for uh, average loads at regular price intervals that can help you minimize your uh, losses and maximizing your profit and more than that protecting your profit is very important what you have gained last, gained last week you should go for protecting your profit if you gain one week and if you lose next week uh, there is no point in going for a trading but because we need to prove some consistency in the market a winning is always a habit we should be consistent with the market uh, so today you can go for a protection mode in gold uh, rather than being aggressive in gold market that also based upon the available funds your trading account if you have minimum margin in your trading account um, for gold trading Please stay away and look for another consolidation in gold market. Please stay away and look for another consolidation in gold market like what happened the previous week. 
market will consolidate and will provide us an opportunity to find some good entry levels if you have sufficient funds if you have good funds then gold is a market you can good make some good profit out of trend so if you have sufficient funds then go for an average uh, till uh, 28820 book profits at regular intervals and make use of the opportunities uh, staying with the trend so there is no other option other than going for a uh, selling till averaging till 28820 and the target zones uh, of course the target zones are all, or we have mentioned the target zones here this 20 uh, what uh, what the target zone we can expect is that 28200 uh, this is going to be a bit a psychological level for gold market because uh, after breaking 28200 the market can very well uh, uh, go for the psychological zone of 28000 so uh, 2800 uh, is for per gram is a bit of psychological level for gold market so we need to put our eyes here even the, when the price is breaking uh, out and uh, reaching 28200 it is going to be another psychological level so initial target what we can expect for this week is uh, 28200 and after reaching 28200 let us go ahead and uh, put all of our efforts and see the market can sustain 28120 we have not marked this so if you want uh, we can also mark the target zones also so this 28120 and 28200 is going to be the uh, expected target zones uh, for this week uh, so we need to what what the price is going to have price action is going to happen and we can expect some consolidation also around the zone uh, so uh, what we are saying is that try to follow the support and resistance level if you have minimum funds in gold market please do stay away from the gold market and wait for some opportunities uh, uh, pick an exact point while uh, trading the resistance uh, while picking a selling on resistance zone pick the resistance zone very carefully so and also best wishes uh, we, uh, for you or uh, all the traders uh, who is going to start trading uh, in gold market for this week uh, and uh, thanks a lot for watching our video happy trading take care bye